If there's one thing science fiction movies and comics have taught us, it's that humans have no limitations and we will one day be able to open a portal that transverses into another dimension. What if I tell you that day is closer to us than ever? This is the latest discovery made by scientists and is by far the biggest of the century. Will we finally get to find out if we are the only beings in the cosmos? What technology have scientists designed capable of making interstellar teleportation possible? And how and where will the portals take us? Join us as we explore how scientists have finally found a way to open a portal to another dimension. Although it may seem that instant travel between worlds appears further away from what our advanced spatial technologies can achieve right now, the fight is on by scientists to see that we tear down that glaring barrier. Movies like Star Trek and Marvel's Avengers have teased us with fictional expectations of phasing technology and warp drives on advanced alien spaceships. They didn't stop there, but their robust storylines also explored the idea of interdimensional travel or teleportation. Mere teleportation is virtually impossible even on paper, as we'd expect there to be some tech doorway to step through and immediately find ourselves on the other side with our mind, body and soul still knitted together. The basic technology of teleportation involves two stages. Physical deconstruction, where the body is broken down at a particular point and reconstituted at another point at the destination. The deconstruction process is where a person's body becomes data and it is transmitted through the portal and then converted back into matter. Ordinarily, teleportation or the opening of portals for interdimensional travel cannot be viewed as an organic fax machine that can disrupt the laws of physics without consequences. The earliest signs of interstellar travel via portals is visible in the Chinese Space Agency's successful teleportation of photons across 300 miles to a satellite in orbit. The process by which the photons were teleported is known as quantum entanglement. The process was derived by Albert Einstein, who was amazed to see how a pair of photons change states similarly even when at a distance without sharing the slightest connection. And we are yet to see how this could impact the study of antimatter or subatomic particle experiments. Applied quantum entanglement could help scientists figure out how to transfer information from one end of an energy pole to another energy pole in a different time and space. In the event that we succeed in discovering how to transmit atoms and molecules across dimensions, the sheer amount of atoms to transmit is massive. A bacteria may contain 9 to the power of 10 atoms, which is the average number of atoms in a single cell whilst the human body has 32 trillion cells, which is more than the number of stars in our universe. And scientists would need every cell to be broken down, and it would take massive computing power to determine if the teleportation of humans is possible. And it would take more than 10 trillion gigawatts of power. That is about all of the United Kingdom's total power supply. The group of scientists at the European Centre for Nuclear Research, CERN, has brought us this close to accessing a portal at the subatomic level through their highly advanced cosmic gun. Recently, they observed a never-before-seen parallel in their groundbreaking project. However thin the plot is, it is possible that their man-made machine could ultimately get us exploring the very fibre of the universe as we aim to better understand the world around us. Very soon, the idea of us navigating an alternate universe via a tear in the fabric of space would be possible by harnessing the power of black holes and wormholes. CERN's gigantic particle accelerator has opened up the channels of discussion about how scientific experiments can help us to unlock the secrets of the universe. The revolutionary piece of technology is called the Hadron Collider, which is a mighty atom smasher. The world's most powerful particle accelerator comprises an intricate connection of superconducting magnets designed to break the limitations of particle physics. The accelerator is designed to help experiment with dark matter and energy. Scientists can use the device to assess why antimatter is scarce in the universe. Studying the particular makeup of the universe will unleash the knowledge of newer particles that have never been previously discovered by science. We had a taste of that when scientists identified three weird new particles that were novel and did not exist in the scientific research database. The study echoes the suppositions of combined efforts of researchers from the University of California, Berkeley and the University of Wisconsin-Madison that the signatures left behind by the perceived new particles can help to identify the class and shape of extraspatial dimensions that obey the tenets of the string theory. 
What is the string theory? The theory elucidated that the fundamental particles that make up the universe are constantly vibrating strings of energy. This was suggestive of the fact that there could be at least six to seven more spatial dimensions that we are yet to see added to the three spatial dimensions and time that we are familiar with. These dimensions in their unique shapes can determine the behavior of the 4D universe as well as its visible properties. Gary Shiyu, a University of Wisconsin-Madison professor of physics who published an issue of the Physical Review Letters stated that, The shape of the dimensions is crucial because in string theory, the way the string vibrates determines the pattern of particle masses and the forces that we feel. So if we focus on the shape, we will be able to predict the shape of our four-dimensional world and understand its innate properties. The extra dimensions can all take on different shapes, and we will need to be able to separate the particles one from another. She suggests we use experimental data to streamline the possibilities and narrow them down to the more realistic ones. Such experimental evidence could appear in data from a particle accelerator, the Large Hadron Collider. Understanding the components and structure of the particles will enable scientists to learn how to replicate them or manipulate them for the benefit of the human race. And many people believe that this research will take us to the gates of hell literally if the study proceeds by tampering with the relatively unknown subatomic particles at the speed of light. We could open up more dreadful portals that could spell the end of human life. Not to worry though, many of these beliefs are nothing more than conspiracy theories wrapped up in spiritual sentiments. However, CERN has an entirely different scope which answers for itself. The creation of antimatter using the unique combinations of these exotic particles will help us understand matter and mass and their application to transversal locomotion in a particular space and time. Subatomic particles or antimatter will carry a reverse charge of negative matter. Why is this important? Avid believers in the Big Bang Theory are convinced that there was a heavy amount of antimatter created during the universe's formation, and it might be as bountiful as matter itself. But that fact can be debunked due to the inherent rarity of antimatter particles in the everyday. Will using the Hadron Collider to generate subatomic particles cause a rift in reality, thus disrupting the balance of the visible world? If this were even possible, people would be experiencing the dreams and lives of their alternative self's life, as evidenced in Marvel's Multiverse of Madness. Except this will not be caused by some magical powers, but damage to the fabric of reality from colliding particles holding the universe together. These particles seeping into our reality will cause what is known as the Mandela Effect. This is a phenomenon where many people constantly remember events from the past occurring differently from how they happened in reality. This disillusioning effect could occur within the closed space of the lab conducting the experiment or on a large scale, depending on the magnitude of the damage caused by the unstable particles that the Hadron Collider discovers. A single particle could carry up to 125 billion volts of charge. Particles with this mass can interfere with the established physics of our world. However, these conspiracies need to be put to bed as they are unfounded. The Large Hadron Collider will not cause a rip in the fabric of reality, nor will it alter time and space. The discovery of these particles merely indicates increased knowledge about the more profound mysteries of our universe. The CERN project has paused recently for much-needed upgrades to the particle accelerator to enhance its accuracy and overall efficiency. We expect even further scientific advancement when it's eventually fired up to resume its research. While science hopefuls may find this news disappointing, the quest to open a portal to another dimension is closer now more than ever before, and we are just one step away. Let us know what you think of this in the comments section below.